we want to go to preferences and you're going to have a preferences screen under category choose AP elements and you'll see a little um, option here called nesting nest when created within an AP div uh, you're going to want to make sure that that is checked so check that and click OK now that that's done uh, I think the best way to explain this is just to jump in and start creating some div tags and show you what nesting actually means and then what it means to have a parent and child AP div. So first thing we're going to do is create a div tag and I'm just going to ID it example. Give it a new CSS rule. I'm not going to create a style sheet for time. I'm just going to do this document only and um, we'll leave it as example. Click OK and I am just going to say give me a width of 400 since my screen's so small I don't want to make it too wide for this tutorial let's go to positioning and let's give it a type of relative and let's go ahead and center that also by going auto on the left and right and I'm going to give it just a gray background color so that we can distinguish between these div tags as we create them. And I'm going to click OK. So here's my relative uh, div tag that I have. And what I'm going to do is just hit enter a few times so we have it here. And what I can do now is I'm going to create an AP div tag within this relative div tag. So I'm just going to go to new div tag, same thing I just did. I'm going to do add insertion point only because I know my cursor is inside of this relative one. And I'm going to call it AP header. New CSS style. Yes, everything's good there that I want. I'm going to click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to positioning. I'm going to absolute is what I want let's give it a width of let's see three five let's just do 300 to keep everything even let's give it a height of 50 let's give it a Z index of 10 and I do have tutorials on Z index and other things if you're not sure what those mean and let's give it a top placement of 0 so that it's at the top of this div tag and let's give it a left placement of 50 that will center it because we have a hundred pixel difference the total width of the div it's in is 400 the width of this div is 300 so that's a hundred pixel difference cut it in half and I get 50 you can't do the auto left and right on the absolutely positioned div tag it won't work click OK and OK oh I meant to give it a color so I'm going to go back into my CSS style and I'm just going to give it a background color so that we can see it. Okay. Okay, so this is my absolutely positioned div tag. Now, for instance, if I go back to my example one and I decide, oh, I don't want that centered after all, click OK. Okay my AP div tag moved with it because it is a child of this parent which is a relative div tag that has nothing really to do with nesting although it does need to be nested within it the actual definition of nesting has to do with the code and the actual definition is it just means that the HTML for one AP div is written inside the code for another div so if we look at this, here would be my parent on line 27. And if I highlight it, you'll see that there's the beginning, there's the closing tag. Nested within the code is this AP tag. So it is nested in there. But I can take this AP div tag and I can move it anywhere on my screen. So now it's not necessarily inside of the parent, but it's still considered nested because the code doesn't move. It's still nested in, within the code. So nesting has to do with the code. Hopefully that makes sense. 
and let's see here. I'm going to undo that so it's back to the middle. Now, what I could do, you know, I could have, you know, this is just the body of my web page. And let's say that I need a little image right here or a little logo right here that kind of overlaps this header and this body. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to now make this absolutely position, this AP header that we called it, the purple tag, the parent, and I'm going to create a child within this parent. Okay? So I'm going to do a new div tag, and I'm just going to ID it logo. New CSS style, um, advanced, and I'm going to go to my positioning. It's going to be absolute. I'm going to give it a higher Z index so it shows up on top. I'm going to give it a top placement of, I'm going to start with 40, and then I'm going to give it a width of, let's give it a width of 1, actually let's give it a width of just 50 by 50. We'll make it nice and square. And then I'm going to give it a left placement, uh, let's just say we made that 300, let's give it a left placement of 200. Okay, click OK. Oh, I wanted a background color. Let's go back in and give it a background color. Let's just make it green. Okay, and get rid of this text because it's bigger than my actual div. Okay, so there it is. Now I can go back into my logo and I can adjust that positioning. Say I want my left to be more like 300. I want it right on that corner there. I could do that. I could do 250, apply, okay? All right. So now I could drop an image in here or I could type some text in here, whatever I wanted to do. And it's, it's going to be, everything is relative to this, a, this purple AP div tag because this one is not only nested within here in the code, but it's also the child of this purple one. So, for instance, let's show a sample of that. If I go into my AP header and I go to that positioning category and I make this width 350, okay, and I make the height 100. Click OK. This tag still has the same properties. So no matter what I do the other one, the positioning of this one is always going to be 40 from the top and 250 from the left. So now if I move my AP header positioning. If I move my top to 20, it's going to bump it all down because my child tag, the green tag, the child tags has to stay 40 from the top no matter what. Okay, so that's just a little tutorial on how you can work with these nested parent-child div tags. So just remember that the child is going to move or be relative to the settings of the parent. Um, so when I set the properties for this child, it's not relative to this gray portion of my div. It's only relative to the purple portion here because the purple is the parent. If I go into my example, which is the gray, and I go to box, and I change this back to auto for left and right margin, okay, everything moves with it because this is the parent of the purple one who is the parent of the green one so everything just kind of you know working with these relative and absolutely positioned div tags works really well for layering a design what I don't suggest to do is just to start moving stuff around on your page you can do that but you're gonna get into probably browser um, issues down the road and you're